Hello perfect beauties, my name is Daisy and today on the acne channel where I post videos every Tuesdays and Saturdays about acne related topics, I'm going to be talking about how hormones are affecting our appearance. So hormones refer to chemical messengers that trigger specific effects on cells in the body. So our bodies go through changes at different stages in our life, obviously, um, much of which is caused by a large increase in hormones, like at puberty or around pregnancy. Hormones help keep our skin looking firm and vibrant and your hair looking shiny and thick and helps regulate our metabolism, which manages our weight. Okay, so let's get to what hormones cause, um, what these issues are, and how we can manage or balance them. So ongoing stress, poor sleep, dietary and exercise habits can disturb the delicate balance of our hormones. So the first um, hormone I'm gonna talk about is cortisol. So cortisol is the body's stress hormone. When we are afraid or anxious, cortisol tells the body to prepare. So when we are stressed, this hormone levels increase, which leads to increased oil production, inflammation, and acne breakouts in the skin, especially along like um, the jawline and chin. Hair loses shine and balance, and in some cases can start pa becoming patchy and thin. Since our bodies interpret fear with possible starvation, it is also difficult to lose weight because starvation triggers holding to extra fat to survive. So don't be stressed guys, because you're not gonna lose those extra five pounds. So the next thing I'm gonna talk about is ghrelin and leptin. So there are two hormones that work opposite of each other. So leptin tells our body when we feel full, while ghrelin tells us when we are hungry. So after poor night's sleep, ghrelin levels are elevated for an entire 24 hours following the loss of sleep while leptin levels are lower. The next is low thyroid and hyperthyroidism is common as we age because an imbalance in your thyroid activity will cause a number of symptoms like the dryness of your skin and nether region, fatigue, weight gain, low psych drive, PMS, or irregular cycles. Ugh. If you're experiencing all these symptoms, it might be good to get your hormones treated by a doctor. You can also see a hormone specialist to see if you have an imbalance in your thyroid, adrenal, or sex glands, all of which have similar symptoms. Estrogen is a female sex hormone that also affects us as we age. So lower estrogen levels can lead to fine line, wrinkles, adult acne, increased facial hair, and thinning scalp hair. So it's better to be proactive by protecting your skin from sun damage, keep your skin hydrated, and nourish your body with nutrient-dense foods. So progesterone rises to maintain pregnancy, but we also see higher levels during our monthly visit from Aunt Flo. At first, the, this increase in this hormone makes your skin clear of acne and almost appears to glow. But during our menstrual cycle, um, this increase can cause also our oil glands to enlarge and produce more oil. Hence why during our period, we can see an increase in acne breakouts. So birth control pills are one of those very few things that can help control the hormonal side effects. However, you should make sure you understand the risks of getting birth control pills. And also we're gonna talk about testosterone because apparently I have a lot of it, I'm just kidding. Okay, so testosterone is a high androgen that is found not only in men, but in women, of the, but in women too. So an excess of this hormone causes increased facial hair and increase in production, um, and oil production, which can lead to acne. So usually guys have a little bit like more severe acne than women. Uh, most women experience such surges if they're taking a high androgen birth control pen or during perimenopause. Again, regulating hormone levels properly by a doctor may be necessary to keep these level balances. But we can also um, you know, balance our hormones by lowering our intake of sugar because too much sugar creates too much insulin and increases oil production and androgen activity, which also leads to acne. So what it comes down to overall is that when we have out of balance hormones, we are more likely to develop a number of problems from dry skin, wrinkles, acne, rosacea, to weight gain, hair loss, and the list goes on. But there are many ways to keep your hormones balanced from um, doing testing through your doctor or, more, or most importantly, by creating a healthy lifestyle by eating natural food, getting sleep, and having less stress in our lives. 
So that is it for today. I hope you guys learned a little bit about hormones and how they affect your appearance from your acne to your weight and everything. Thank you so much for watching and don't forget to subscribe to the acne channel where I post a video relating to acne, skincare, hormones, whatever, every Tuesdays and Saturdays. And until next time, I will talk to you guys later. Oh, and if you guys have any questions on what you want me to talk about for next week's video, definitely comment below and I will look it up for you guys. I'll talk to you guys later. Bye. You